Hank Klinger here, coming to you from beautiful Sweden once again. Don't bother with the horns behind me, it's just the way it goes. Um, okay, today I want to shoot a video for you guys about abundance, about how you can attract more abundance into your life. The honest truth, if you want it, abundance is your natural state. Abundance is energy. Everything is energy. Everything in the universe comes from the same source, eternal energy. Nothing is created or destroyed. It's just a transfer of energy. And when you realize this and grasp this concept, then you can understand that money is just energy, that money is value, value is just energy, and you can attract more wealth and more of what you want into your life. Love is energy because love is an emotion. Love is uh, mind and action is thought and thought and emotion is energy it's all energy and when you understand this when you can really grasp this concept that we're all one in the same energy that's where we all come from then you can understand that all wealth is yours all abundance is yours but today what I want to do is I want to give you guys some tips on how you can attract more abundance into your life so the first thing I want to talk about is to see the world as a friendly place I mean most people go through life and they see the world as hostile, they see it as competitive, that they have to struggle, that they have to take what they can get. And this isn't really the truth of it. The supply is limitless. Really it is because energy is infinite and energy is all through the universe and there will always be enough. And you can see in this way of thinking that you can in turn start creating your wealth and start instead of competing for it because any wealth that is taken from somebody else will never be long lasting. It will be yours today and someone else's tomorrow. Instead, learn that the world is friendly and that the universe is accommodating to you when you learn how to work in natural harmony with it and natural law and that there's more than enough for you, there's more than enough for everybody and that the universe and the world really is a friendly place. The second thing that you can do on a daily basis, I recommend doing this several times a day a dozen times even, is to say to yourself, I attract abundance into my life. I attract abundance into my life. It's impossible to say a certain phrase over and over again without it becoming a habitual thought. Our habitual thoughts are our convictions. They're our beliefs. They create our habits. Our habits create the results of our life. So by doing this on a daily basis, over a period of time, you will gradually influence your thoughts and actions to create more abundance into your life. This is a form of auto-suggestion. You can read about it. It's a proven technique, though it can't truly be explained by psychologists or scientists. Okay, number three is to stay in a state of non-resistance. You have to allow things to flow into your life, and you have to allow them to flow out of your life, and you have to keep abundance in circulation. You have to be giving and receiving. You have to go with the flow of life instead of always trying to fight everything. People are constantly not happy with their current life situation, so they're focusing on that, and what it's in turn doing is, is bringing more like situations into your life. But instead, accept it for what it is. It's a situation that needs to be changed, that you want to change, and when you accept it and you relax about it, you can in turn then come up with creative ways to change it in a positive way that will create a more abundant life for you. So the fourth thing I want to talk about is to use your current life situation to create abundant thoughts. To look at what you have, you know, and use these to get in harmony with the natural law. Um, it's really important to do this. And if you look around your room and you can see things that you don't have that you want, then you can think to yourself, okay, I want that. And essentially how it works is like putting an order in, order in a catalog. You make the order and then you go on with your daily routine and you work work towards it with purpose, with action. So the fifth thing I want to talk about is taking action. And you have to take action that supports your ideals for abundance. You have to do things that are going to bring and help you receive abundance into your life. You have to take positive action towards wealth. You have to do the things in your life that are going to be money-producing activities. You have to do the things in your life that are going to produce more love, more joy, more peace, such as meditation, working harder at your job, being more genuine, more honest with the people that you care about, by loving yourself more, by working on those habits for eating better and exercising more. And these, in turn, are the positive actions that are going to create momentum in your life so that you'll attract more abundance to yourself and the people that you care about. And another part of this are these actions are act as it is, already happened. So if you want to have a $10,000 a month income, then take the actions that someone who is earning them would take. This is a very key, important part to attracting abundance into your life. Okay. Now, the sixth thing I want to talk about is to 
realize that with your abundance, with your success, people around you's abundance and success is going to increase too. You're going to see a dramatic increase in the people that you care about, people that you love, your friends and your families. So you can really use that to drive you by knowing that you're not just helping yourself, you're helping the people around you. And this is another giving and receiving. Uh, it's a reciprocation law. These are all natural laws, by the way. Uh, they are natural laws. They're as real as gravitation. And back to this law, though. Your success will create success for the world around you. And the world will become a brighter place. You know, it's been said that the greatest gift you can give to the world is that of your own self-transformation. And it's true. And you'll hear me repeat that a lot because I believe in it. You know, the only corner of the universe you can change is your own self. But when you awaken all of yourself, all around you will naturally begin to awaken too. Because as human beings... You know, when we match our vibrational frequencies to that of the reality we want, we can't help but attract that reality. And this is physics. So when you awaken all of yourself and you raise your vibration level, then you attract that positive, beautiful, harmonious environment that you've been longing for, that you've been desiring for. And this comes with work, this comes with discipline, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Now, the seventh thing I want to talk about is to follow your emotions more and focus less on your thoughts. Uh, your thoughts come from everywhere. And you know what I'm talking about. It's almost like mental chit-chat, mental chatter. They're basically frequencies like radio waves that are floating throughout the ether. One negative thought attracts a big, ne bigger negative thought that attracts a bigger negative thought. And most of them come from the ego. Their ego doesn't like anything. So instead of focusing on your thoughts, just become a watcher of your thoughts. Just see them as they are and be impartial to them. Don't judge them. And instead, focus on your body, focus on your emotions. The minute that you start to feel anxiety, anger, fear, frustration, take a deep breath and feel it from your solar plexus, your center distribution of energy in the human body. It's your center sun, and it is a very real sun. And when you begin to focus on this center more, you can learn to control your emotions more. You can learn to be in perfect harmony, more peace, more joy. And you can start to attract more abundance into your life and to create a better world. And you can work with natural law. And life will become a lot more pleasurable for you. Your entire way of life will improve. Your quality of life will improve. So now the next thing we'll talk about, number eight, is keep the abundance in flow. Don't hoard it. When you start to create wealth in your life, when you start to generate a good income, you want to keep it moving. It's reciprocation like I was talking about before. You don't want it to stagnate. You don't want it to sit because then it sits and you'll see people that die with a billion dollars but they die unhappy because they're not giving they're not they're not keeping it in flow it's energy energy has to stay in flow it has to stay in motion and this is a key to creating true abundance into your life and now another thing I want to talk about number nine very important give yourself time every day for meditation I recommend a Japa meditation it is essentially repeating the name of God aloud while you while you meditate and this is one of the oldest historically recorded forms of personal development spiritual development abundance development um, you can look it up online I'll do a video about it for you guys here in the future so you can understand what I'm talking about give you a breakdown of what it is it's when you hear people say om om is one of the words of God one of the names of God and you can Feel it when you do this, after you silence the mind and after you repeat these mantras for an extended period of time, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes an hour, and then you go back to the silence, to the breathing, it reverberates through your being and it creates a natural, more higher energy vibration. So set aside a time every day, even if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, to meditate, to silence the mind, and to come into perfect harmony and to center yourself. And number 10, one of the most important things I want to talk about to attract abundance into your life is gratitude. Be grateful for everything that flows into your life. People, places, things. This will naturally attract more of it to you. And you will begin to see the truth. And when you see the truth, it will set you free. I can't explain it to you. The world transforms around you and you will start to notice every magical circumstance. You'll start to see the life in everything. You'll start to see the true meaning of wealth, and you'll see that all wealth is already yours, that it's your natural state, and you'll naturally begin to attract more abundance into your life. And I believe in all of you guys. This is all your natural birthright. 
you can have all that you want. You can do what you want to do. You can be what you will to be because you are powerful beyond all words, beyond all comprehension. I've done amazing things in my life that I'm not going to get into in this video. I've seen other people do amazing things in their life that I'm not going to get into this video. But I'm telling you right now that it's truth that if something is humanly possible, consider it to be in your reach. So with that being said, my name's Hank Klinger. I love all you guys with all my heart. You can connect with me on Facebook, be a link below this video, or you can connect with me on Twitter. Take care, guys. I love you. You have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you soon.